जैनराइन बचो आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई होप यू आर फॉलोइंग एस एम एस रूल एस मीन्स वॉट एस मीन्स सोप यू हैव टू वॉश योर हैंड्स विथ सोप फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड्स एंड एम फॉर मास्क यू हैव टू वेयर योर मास्क वेन एवर यू गो आउटसाइड एंड एस फॉर सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग यू हैव टू मेनटेन सोशल डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्स फीट और टू मीटर ओके सो टुडे वी आर गुन टॉक अबाउट रिफ्लेक्सिव एंड एम्फेटिक प्रोनाउंस वॉट इज रिफ्लेक्टिव एंड एम्फेटिक प्रोनाउंस रिफ्लेक्टिव एंड प्रोनाउन वन सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट रिफर टू द सेम पर्सन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट वेन सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इन द सेंटेंस आर सेम दैट इज कॉल्ड रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउन वेन द एक्शन परफॉर्म बाय द सब्जेक्ट इट रिसीव बाय द सब्जेक्ट इट सेल्फ दैट इज कॉल्ड रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउन हेयर इज एन एग्जाम्पल शी बॉट हर सेल्फ अ न्यू पर्स फॉर हर न्यू जॉब शी बॉट हर सेल्फ अ न्यू पर्स फॉर हर न्यू जॉब शी इज द सब्जेक्ट हेयर and is your pronoun and bought herself a new purse for herself she bought a new purse action performed by the subject is received by the subject itself so that is called reflexive pronoun emphatic pronoun emphatic pronouns and reflexive pronoun words are same like himself herself themselves all are same but the difference there is slight difference between emphatic and reflexive pronoun Ref- emphatic pronoun is used to emphasize the particular noun when we emphasize upon the subject that is called emphatic pronoun like i myself saw the masked thief you yourself should learn to do it he himself he himself in order to emphasize on the subject we have written himself after pronoun he she herself in order to emphasize on upon the subject we have written herself after she Okay so we will introduce determiners what do you mean by determiners determiners are words which are placed before noun to introduce it or to modify it or to tell us something specific about the noun there are many types of determiners that is articles possessive determiners numerical quantifiers demonstrative distributive interrogative now articles you know very well we have already read about articles a and the the we use for particular thing n we use for vowels and a for consonants second type of determiners is possessive determiners as we have seen possessive words in pronoun there is a slight difference between possessive determiners and possessive pronouns my your his her its are and they are before a noun will be possessive determiners mine yours his hers its as and theirs on their own are pronouns not determiners as we have seen in that uh, previous lecture the example this book is mine that mine is this book is mine mine is your possessive pronoun but here we are uh, we uh, there is an example my writing is neater than yours see uh, we have written my instead of mine so this my is your possessive determiner and we have placed just before your noun the dog ate its food its food food is your noun and we have placed it just before your noun so in the same way these examples are of possessive determiners and then we will move to the quantifiers and numbers quantifiers and numbers numbers when we talk about numbers determiners we talk about the exact numbers 1 2 3 or first second third and when we talk about quantifiers is like not the exact number much a little a bit a great deal such kind then demonstrative uh, demonstrative uh, determiners there are four demonstrative this that these those these are that porridge was delicious that is a determiner why because we, here we have written that just before porridge porridge now that was delicious that was delicious see after that there is a verb not now so this is your pronoun demonstrative pronoun those people again after those we have written people people is your common noun so those were awful again after those there is a verb not noun so this is your demonstrative pronoun not determiner and distributed determiners refer to a group of people or things like i have already told you each and each and every all half both either 
and all these words only the difference is after these words we play uh, we uh, write noun we write noun in case of distributive pronoun we don't write noun we include verb at the last interrogative determiners there is a great example of this interrogative you know very well when we frame question that is interrogative the, uh, the difference between interrogative determiners and interrogative pronoun is there is a very good example of this i'll show you in your book itself see interrogative determiners the example of interrogative determiners color is your favorite after what there is a noun color so this is your interrogative determiner if i would ask you the same question in this way what is your favorite color in that in that case what is your favorite color after what i haven't mentioned noun but verb so in that case it would it would be your interrogative pronoun i hope you have understood this thank you anjana ryan